Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or uh, Mr. Baron's Irie Lover. But right now, we're here, we're large, and we're at war with Farsun, as well as Highland Watch, who are killing themselves as well, which is great. Um, as a reminder, this is uh, Early Access, looking at this update, 5.0, Ashes to Embers. And as, as a reminder, uh, the mod will be updated for everybody on February 28th, 2024. So, regardless, thank you once again to the devs for giving me early access to the uh, update. Appreciate it a lot, and uh, we're doing well. I um, hope we're having a pretty good day, and let's see what we got here. We're doing the Irish of the Water still, but we really want to beat up people here. Really like beating up people. So, if you're in this again, please go right ahead. Which I think I read last time. Yeah, because I remember reading about Grady, so. We're going to come here, destroy them, beat them up, and take out both sides here. Oh, a shady spot to light. Carson Weber. Uh, knelt in the dry grass, an expression on his face of mixed terror and fury as he shouted at his captors. You have any idea who my grandfather is? What you're getting yourself into? Two of them he didn't recognize, though they looked ready for a shootout at any moment, but the last he did. The woman standing at his back, a rifle at the ready with Savannah Childs. He heard she was one of the new Baroness's favorites, and had seen her at a church a couple times. I know a lot of things, boss, Savannah said, savoring the moment. I know you're just old Cornelius's grandson. I know he knows. Just what you've done and what's about to happen. She laughed as Carson flinched and tried to stammer a response. How many of them uh, con slaves up and vanished into thin air? Under your watch, boy, how many in the years before them? Too many. Find his voice, Carson pleaded with her. Well, wait, I can give you the others. Tell you where they went, anything. You're the last one, Carson. They gave you up. A choke and sob came from the kneeling man as she dashed his hopes. Now, young man, which one of these fine trees would you like to lay under? The shot echoed for miles. Oh, boy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, pass mine. Do they have armor on them? No. But we do have low supply around here. Oh, you should probably help out too. But, hope you're having a pretty good day. And uh, the South Pass Mines or Bobby Yards, as we do have a cup of tea here to keep us nice and satisfied. So, good. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, I'll keep you guys right here because you're going to help us push across the river. Hopefully. It's going to be a slow going, but that's alright. Old Jeffrey. Uh, they do have every division on every tile, which is eh, not great for us, but still. Mineral Prospectors, Iris of the Water. And Miles will do this one too, why not? Ah, another division. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beat up them out. Beat them up. Uh, I don't think we have any of you, do we? New hole, two. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Hmm. Now we want to do an encirclement. I mean, it'd be easier to take these guys out first, but still. I still want to do this, though. One at a time. Beat them up. Ooh, military sending bonuses. Uh, definitely want to do that. And we're going to waste some militias. We'll go to funding militias soon, too. Radios are good. Uh, like I said, this line doctrine is not great, but it is what it is. And the next campaign, I probably wouldn't choose it, but, you know, it is... Like I said, it is what it is. Can you help out here, maybe? Yes. We only use one special force right now. Um, what do we got here? Ah, yeah. The Dane declared war on Klamath. And, yeah, let's go and raise conscription level. I mean, it's 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 Wyoming. What do you expect? Occupied territories, less than pacification. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> Armor's looking alright. Well, and really. Can I switch him over here? Because we don't have that many tiles that we need to really hold on to. Yeah. Looking all right so far. Still going down, but whatever. I uh, read bigger iron last time, so if you read this one, please go ahead. Well, I'll read it anyways. Skill, training, teamwork. All of these matter in war, but sometimes what you really need is a shiny new gun. I'm, don't get me wrong, I love guns. Slowly going down, but it's all right. We're going to get her done. Oh, vacuum tube is very good, very good, very good. Get some uh, primitive radios. Yes, please. One, 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 one. Uh, yeah, this is taking a while to grind through, but that's right. We're getting a decent amount of army XP. Uh, but harvesting the Nuka Cola factory to the north, the Nuka Cola factory lays derelict. We can salvage the bottles and suffer caps, and maybe even a little R and R along the way if there's enough cola to be had. Good. Sun dogs, nice. Oh, they're attacking us too. Huh? Far sun and far sun, huh? This would be good to get to. I just really want to break over that river. Are we missing anything here besides armor? 67. 
I like bigger irons. What is Wyoming? If you want to read this again, please go ahead too. Doing some pretty da good damage to him. Uh, we got these two, which is nice. We'll grab this one next. Thank you very much. Because aliens, if you wonder about aliens, please go ahead. I've read it quite a few times before. Tax collectors, of course, gentlemen. They are 20 combo, and they're actually pretty decent overall. And then Zach companies, well, they're only 10 combo with which is. Yeah, it could be better. Farce and ruins. You go boom, boom, boom. Three tiles. You might be able to do that, actually. Good, another division on here is very fine, very, very fine. Inspirational, lead foot, nerd rage, gun nut, life giver, where is it? Sniper, yeah. Waters of Wyoming. Oh, wait, the refineries. Oh, two cities, why not? Though mo they most certainly stain the views. Numerous derelict factories do not dot, dot the landscape. Let's see if we can get some of them back online. If you take that towel, that should capitulate them. Force Corp percentage, 100%. They're at 100% too. Up and out. Stretch out their line just a little bit more. Just like our line is stretched out just a wee bit. And Warhorse, yeah. The eldest and highest ranking in the Zag Company remain. General Edward Scott has seen his fair share of battles, both glorious and ignominious. He tries to focus on the glories, but there's a deep core of bitterness that gnaws at the general's heart that grows with each setback and, each, and year. It's at different times, either harsh or very lenient on his men, depending on how their last mission went, and whispers among the rest of the militia centered around his growing dependence on drink. Despite these many issues, he's still a man well versed in the art of warfare and hardened against the grim realities that come with it. The Baileys place a considerable amount of trust in him, and for now their respect and trust is enough to give him a purpose. He is happiest when leading his boys to clear out raiders and travel camps. Why wouldn't you? Alright, you do that then. You don't need to come right here. Good. Yeah, no, you're not leaving. I apologize for, for taking so long with this one. Vehicles. Be an intelligence agency. That'd be very nice. And now they've been cut off. Time they should start uh, crumbling eventually, which is fine with us. Uh, home on the frontier. No matter how amazing a land may be, without food to sustain it, it won't be most anything for long. Looking into agricultural concerns would suit us well. Not bad, not bad. Two divisions here. I do want to take a uh, farson out, so come here first. Completely surround them. So, oh, There's quite a few divisions out there attacking us. It's fine. Let them do their thing. Hmm, could you do this? Completely surround them. And beat them up that way. We're propaganda, season patriotism. How about the settlements, yeah? Free city? I, well, a city for 20 points. 20 points. Political power? I'm okay with that. Go ahead and... Nice. Seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and there you go. go the Wild Hounds. I read this last time, but unexpected, but not, not unwelcome. Some of our people stumbled on the ruins of a former kennel and dog training school in the northern reaches of the former Khan territories. There's dozens of houses in the area, strong and fit, and Sheila is certain that she can refine their breeding stock and recapture the packs. Ever should begin immediately. What's a ranch without a faithful hound to keep them company after all? Three divisions. You can't do anything up there, unfortunately. But it's alright. Are we lacking anything? It is back up to 130. Good, because we're going to need some more infantry armor to help put this tile down. Which would be very, very nice. I'm surprised they can't do anything here. Um, looks like they just expanded themselves. It looks like an anti air. And good. We got them. 
This is ours. Good. Oh, Jeffra. And a screening ship. Mm -hmm. It might take a couple tiles here and there, but whatever. It is what it is. Demand tribute. Are, are you sick in the head, boy? Oh, uh, hello. I said go all the way down. Yes. Scavenger's Triumph. That's good. Old World Spy Book. Not bad. Play working's good. Uh, continue with the land doctrine, of course, always. And better weaponry. Good, good, good. and there you go. Wild hounds, yes. Everyone about beautiful rivers. Read with me. Although we do not wish to swim like fish, we do love these long rivers. Let's make use of them in a way that will strengthen our hold upon the lands. Well, we could try that. See what you can do. Really grind out a lot of XP. No, it's gonna hurt a man a little bit, but still. More propaganda? Why not? Hey, level five, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Very nice. Get down here too. You don't want us to get encircled, do you? Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, fishing. We do not envy the fish for they fear us, but by God, we love catching them. To the bitter end. Regis and the other great uh, cons of the Mojave journeyed on into a land called Irie. They were refugees, having been found forced violently out of their homes and foes back in Nevada, and left to fend for themselves after the death of their chief. Stories of long-distant cousins had brought them north in search of friendly faces and a safe place to call home. The trail of old rumors had slowly led them here. It had something of a bad reputation, but so had many of the roads that had walked to get this far. They traveled warily, but not as much as they perhaps should have. As the great cons entered a low rail under the high ridges, a voice called out asking who was trespassing the Irie. When Regis called back in response that they were the great cons, a voice came back. I don't know if I see anything, but I don't see anything great, but we know what to do with the cons. After the voice came to a hail of gunfire, which rang out through the hills until all that was left was silence. End of the line. Actually, if you attack here, you could circle them, but whatever. Taking a while to break over the river, which makes sense. Shove out here, too. Losses 90, which ain't bad. And then... We're going to grab more breakthrough, yeah. Make special forces very special and very forceful. I thought here. Good, basic weaponry is very, very good. And grab that too. Grab this. Ding, da, dum, boom. Let him attack us. It's fine. It's fine. You know, that's actually a really good opportunity. The north will be crushed pretty easily. The south, not so much now. So you guys go here, immediately in, and take that towel. Go into. Fishing and fighting. Anyone who dares interrupt their fishing shall face our magnificent navy. Oh, okay, get three reserve fleet. Ships, all right. Hey, we cut them off. Nice, we cut them off down here too. They're done for basically now. As long as they don't circle us too. That would really suck. Here, I'm out here. Ideal. Yes. Yes. Good. Anything here that's super special? Savage? Ah, go Savage Leader. We gotta go Savage Leader. Jonah Scott, what a savage, even though he's not really. Kill him off. So I'm from the front of you, like about this place we're have. We're actually gonna grab uh, War Sport because it's hard to get War Sport. Very nice. 
nice, very nice. Help them out. Help destroy them. That's quite a few divisions trapped under there. Oh, darn it. Overall blues. Vehicles, yes, please. How much caps do we got? 500 some. Very, very nice. Basic tools are all right. We're going to need a little bit more manpower eventually. And, uh, what's this one? Boats are, are for crossing. You know, it's unlikely we'll be facing any large naval battles anytime soon, but that doesn't mean we can't put these, uh, boats to use. Yeah, nice. We can't put these, boat, put these boats to use in times of war. But we're going to do the land development decree. Too many fields lay follow, and overgrown for months or even years of conflict. These roads between them are in even worse shape. Cornelius Weber has come to us with an ambitious plan to restore the land and only ask for every worker and coin that could be spared in exchange. That'd be great. Ooh, big horners. Or battle big horners. Sheila Hartford has expressed uh, or presented a novel idea based on our newest experiments. Selectively rising big horners for aggression and training them for use in battle. It's a risk to be sure, but it may not even work, but her confidence is infectious. Surely we can give her our blessings to try. That'd be great. Expand the caravan, uh, Serai. As we expand our operations and holdings throughout the region, more and more trade is forced across the border. Should we direct such traffic towards Caspar and expand the markets and amenities available to caravans, it would encourage merchants to invest more in themselves. More money for us and more comfortable travel for them is a win-win. Absolutely. Um, Black Canyon is pretty thick. I can't promote that over here anymore, huh? Still trying to improve it no matter what, though. Oh, wow, Lander's got quite a few, huh? Nice. That's actually very good. Oh. That's a lot of ships. Getting a little bit of manpower, so I'm okay with that. Go ahead and do that. Every man matters. Uh, since we're here, we're going to wait anyways. Uh, try that. We'll be close to up here anyways, waiting to go to war with these guys too, so. Crane, if you need to. Uh, Blood Woods, very cool. What else we got here? Output? Yeah. Of course, we need more, do more electronics as well. Super good. Stability. Stability is just super important too. 69% is very nice, but it could be more. Hey, what do you get? Infantry tech? Alright. Any prospectors? What do we got here? Uh, Alright. Battle, big horners. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's level. Actually, it's level 8. That's actually really good for us. Gentlemen, 20 gamble width. On, yeah, we got field hospitals on good, which is very, very good. NTR is not bad, though. Are we out of, uh, yeah, infantry armor. But what I expected. 2000, 2000. We do that. Do that. It's fine for now. Go down to two. Share the wealth. We're gonna need at least two of these, though. Start doing that. Alright, so after all that stuff, a spark to a flame. The individualists to our east have proven time and time again to be a little better than raiders. The latest farm to end up sacked is the last straw. They can no longer hide behind claims of attacks being from isolated clans acting without permission. If it's truly so anarchic there, then uh, we will bring order by force. Uh, how are we going to get cold family? Let's escape from hardship first. Many people stayed in Wyoming by accident. Maybe their caravan fell apart. Maybe they just like the people. Maybe it was just the weather. These people are quick to chat up newcomers and work with the locals. That's fantastic. Taskmaster. Conversion costs. Construction speed. Another road here, another workshop there. Uh, two more wells over this way might be able to get this power plant back online. The land exists to be worked, and its people to be orderly and productive. What is the philosophy of those who a lord over the Eyrie? Um, and men such as Cornelius Weber uh, that facilitate such work. Cornelius is a mousy, elderly man with a voice like Rain who wouldn't harm a fly but knows just how to build a hundred roads for soldiers to march down in workshops to arm them. He's also the patriarch of the Weber family, one of the most powerful in the Eyrie, and wields considerable amount of influence in turn. His kin are known uh, uh, for their gifts with engineering and making use of the technology and techniques, and so it is his task to uh, lead teams of workers. Uh, both paid and otherwise, a repair and connect the old infrastructure of the old days and work to produce the guns and other tools as employees or employer requires. Since we're making money anyways, uh, let's see. I think I'm actually going to go with Caravan Trader. More money, more resource efficiency game. Still need more steel. Need more circuitry. Exactly why we're doing that right now. What is this? Ooh, civilian workshop. I like that. But more steel would be nice too. 
Uh, we should have, with enough, we should have get enough from this one. Let's reboot our power stations first. The stars can only guide us so well. The proper power station would help us see at night, and well, a heater, if we can find a functioning one, that is, wouldn't hurt either. Good. Nice. Uh, let's see, because I do want that research slot too. Don't get me wrong. Manpower, manpower, bottle caps, infrastructure, uh, tools to build a hunt. Oh. Scavenging is a baseline of any waste on society, a trade both despised and respected by the majority. Equipping scavengers to go and see what they can get, we'll see if it's a lot of lead work. Building ourselves up. To build a civilized society, you must be capable of building in the first place. The scavengers we've employed in the power station will help us get the proper equipment to, to try and start expanding. Yes, please. That's our sending We're going to keep doing that one because we are always out of manpower. Very nice. Old roll blues, of course. Computers and other gizmos. The dull glow of the screen lights up our office. While it's tenuous that they grant uh, over pen and paper, what they grant over pen and paper, many voices proclaim that the future is now. Outposts. The Baron's Arabino's Anetica. Oh, okay, that's different. Turning on with the ruffians. Ooh. We heard that one earlier this episode. The Wyoming Calm. The Calm show of Wyoming is inviting to much of the wasteland. With the rumors of our hard work, lack of mind individuals have begun to arrive from all over. Steps, care of the nearing. Vast steps for miles, and nothing but vast tracts of land in between. While many great ranches dot the landscape, few connections have been established between such places. Encouraging caravaneering would be key to reasonable economic growth. In just case, we're going to go and grab this one first. Public works, nice. Expand that, yes. Cool. Good, got them done. So, have political power here to use all this stuff here. Go and throw them in the cradle. Which we should be able to go to war soon, too. Let's take a good old look-see real quick. Glow's Cradle, led by the Glowing Father. And 400 manpower. And we're good to go. Nice. Little power, do your conscription. Oh, that's it. Insiders. Huh. We do that. Do they attack us? No. Military society, mobilize people. Alright. Contact loss, oh come on. So we will continue to try to build ourselves up. That's fun and dandy. I thought I said it helps support the attack here. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. They are they are quite entrenched though. Oh boy. Why entrenched? Rescue team, please. That'd be good. Found the expedition. Of course, we did. Send out any prospectors. I'm not sure why you delete your agency. It doesn't make any sense to me why you would. 58% world tension. If we wait a little bit, we could get some more military command, division defense, Good. territory, training time, recovery rate, friendly and operative, attack. Uh, you know what? I like this one more because it's with our guys. But we're going to attack even harder. I don't think we'll get that one done in time. We'll do that one instead for now. And you're going to need the Ruminators, too. As we build ourselves up. How about uh, Eyes in the South? We have exchanged one dangerous border for another. This time, perhaps we better build higher fences and watch towers rather than moving to another war. Mountains and cannons don't exactly provide much for the agriculture anyways. I could piss you in the uh, confederation. There you go. Wait. Oh. We'll be war more than 40%. Ah, oh, whatever then. Keep the last flight mechanic. Ooh, that's different. Well, it's no vertebra, but I'm sure I can get this old buzzard back in the skies. The eldest son of the Hartford family, James, excuses his mother's scientific interest and fa uh, father's soldiery, soul stoicism in favor of engineering. Specifically, light flight engineering. 
While flying machines of any variety are difficult to find, on the Irie, James is an expert at maintaining and restoring any he can get his hands on. The young man chased at times under the command of the Baileys in the royal regime, being more accustomed to military hierarchies, but as long as they fund his projects, he'll allow his parents to lead. They always get someone like this. I'm going to go up you. You're different. You're unique. The River Watch. With the greater access to the rivers comes great wealth, especially for the Sounders and the burgeoning trade network. With that wealth comes new threats, however, of pirates and others with ill intent. Marietta Sounders has operated at the front of the initial cost of developing a force to patrol and guard the shores and trade ships. So be it. Nice, there you go. Get that one tie at least. Engineering, the Wyoming Calm, of course we read. The Settling Winds. The Settling Winds of Wyoming have been an inviting premonition to travelers and wayfarers alike. Dozens of people pass through our lands, more and more staying every day. Growing industrial power. The wild fields around our settlements are slowly filling with signs of industry and progress. Our hands shape Wyoming even further. And eventually nowhere can be home too. Wyoming's a beautiful place, almost so certainly nowhere, but what else is there to be in this world if not nowhere? Fill the river. If we put enough boats in the water, how could any enemy ever hope to sail through? A keep drilling. Regular practice and training will keep a crew sharp even during times of fish and trade. One day they might just need it. Ants in the lovely art of. Answers a holes. No, really. It'll love to take crap and just bury it like it'll be used for later. Send a crew in there, blow the thing to heck, and oh, oh, crap. First you need to gather the stuff they stole, and, then, and you gotta get the nectar, and oh, for stupid sake. Uh, forget all that irrigating and crap. What in the wide world of sports are we doing? I'm gonna do this too. And what do I do? Thanks. I'm gonna start working a couple planes here and there. Now, we're still struggling against these guys, but, you know, it's but it's to be expected, so. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Keep going, for now. We're just grinding away here. Um, we lost 1800, which is not good, but at this point, we kind of have to grind away at the, in this campaign. So, uh, what is this? Jack of all trades, master of none, still better than master of one. The finer points of American progressivism. See, son, the more flower you say something, the more it has more meaning. Even if it doesn't. Oh, we should probably do this, too. Do that. Do, 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 do. Very nice. Thank you. Go there too. Because the these guys are out of manpower, which is fine with us. Uh, do that too. We could probably use that. Up and down the highway. Nothing clears ahead of a like a midday drive. Now only if we could find a rook and pump. The wonders of Vault Nine. Ooh, turns out flailing around and making a bunch of holes in the ground led somewhere. Who knew? That's interesting. Oh. Another division, very nice, very nice. Um, the reason why we're taking so long for this is because it's, you know, it's not easy to do, but. Uh, ooh, what do we want here? Anything else around here? Basically, weapon, yes, please. Um, well, it's because these guys are actually in one gigantic faction together the Midnight Union. So, they have the Martial Republic, they've got the Ruminators, the Sisters of Steel, and Pax Americana all in one single group here. So, basically, what we're going to have to do. As we're going to probably go to war with Black Canyon, we'll probably have to go to war with Lone Tree. We'll have to go to war with a lot of different nations and eventually core all that territory, eat it up, assimilate it basically, and make sure that we all be okay really in the end. Because this is not going to be very easy. So do that too. That'd be very nice. Anything here? Uh, yeah, that'd be very nice. So that's why it's going to take so long for us. But we're going to talk about Adam Longstreet. No, not this guy. We'll talk about uh, Savannah Childs. The best small. F oh, crap. Small folk to keep to the place, and the rest have a habit of disappearing and be your best. Savannah's a childhood friend of Annette's, and with the two having bonded over games like of hide and seek and endless youthful plots. As they reach adulthood, they only become closer, with both knowing secrets about each the other that could destroy their reputations but keep them tight lipped. Now that I've been best friends with Annette's rise in power, came an opportunity for Savannah to rise as well. She's a snoop, nosy to a fault, and has few qualms about who gets hurt as long as she and Annie come out on top. Acting as head of the Baroness's new secret police is a role that she has slipped into with great ease and pleasure. Even the rest of the child's family is not necessarily safe. Oh, interesting. I think I can have one more. And we'll do Father Axton because, well, we could use the war sport and the recruitable population factor. St. Matthew blesses us each day, and those blessings must be rendered to the service of the greater good. Father James uh, Axton keeps the candles burning and the faith alive at the small All Saints Chapel for many decades before a young Augustus Bailey came to him. That marked the beginning of a change in both men. The father instilled a healthy fear of God and a sense of responsibility to make the world a better place into the young man. In turn, the future baron pushed Axon to harden his heart against the faithless and instilled within this flock the importance of uh, teeth and tacks. 
The father now believes strongly in the Baron and his family, seeing them as a beacon of faith and order against a dark world that they're urging as pushed the chapel towards the veneration of St. Matthew in particular. It looks the other way as the Baileys repeatedly dip their hands into the donation box and instead delivers more and more sermons denouncing the Irish many guiles neighbors and calling for action against them. Pretty great. Oh, I got him done, huh? Nice. And we're going to save real quick just because if that things go really poorly for us because we did have to use cons commands in the first episode to be, well, not completely die there. So it is what it is. And I do want to see before we end this episode what that uh, little thing is about. Here, with the wonders of Vault 9. Don't get the secrets of Vault 9. Ooh, they're doing planning stuff, huh? Uh, they did have extra help here. Um, you know what? Let's take a look. Sisters of Steel are just fine against us, which is not ideal, but I do want that event first. So, what do we got here? Awareness, life giver. Refined mixture is good for the manpower, because we're definitely going to need that. I'll go with life giver. Recovery rate's always very good. Recovery a little faster. Oh, uh, good. And another special forces division. Very ideal. Very, very ideal. At least we have five research slots, too. That's very nice. Trickle bat, better XP loss. Political power is always good. Uh, I like this one too. We have enough uh, manpower or political power or money as well for that now. How about settlements? Support equipment is not bad. We're looking very good on resources now. We're out of portable radios and anti-take weaponry too. The secrets of Vault 9 though. It was rare news to hear that the, a new vault had been discovered, especially in places as far flung from old American population centers as Wyoming, but that was nonetheless the word that swiftly traveled down the dusty trails and into each uh, set up and around. During a violent storm, a team of scavengers had taken shelter within an outcropping of boulders only to find a tunnel hidden away in the rock's midst. Following it down into the earth out of curiosity as much as a desire for safety, the group eventually arrived at the wide cavern overlooked by a massive steel door. On the door was a thick layer of dust and paint displaying a uh, yellow number 9. When the scavengers returned home, they reported their discovery to those in power and recounted their failed attempts to open the vault door. With more equipment in aid, it could surely be cracked open however. An untouched vault is a mystery hard to ignore, even as in, out in the plains of Wyoming, folks had heard of the legends of vault Tech's secret of hideaways. The scavengers did soon return to the vault, this time with armed guards, and experts were certain they could get the door open. The confidence was perhaps misplaced as science, engineering, and demolitions, and yelling into the intercom, all the same effect. Nothing. The difficulty only made those involved all the more anxious to find out what was inside. It wasn't until the lead of the old scavenging team, in a light of fancy, walked up and knocked on the door that there was a response. The massive entrance to the vault began to shift, antagonizingly slowly. Would it be a whole forgotten society of dwellers? A mass grave filled with bones and cruel experiments, perhaps a trope of wondrous pre-war technology waited within. When the door finally had finished opening, they were greeted by a cacophonic chorus of barks and howls. Dogs? So dogs get more suppression bonus, production costs, and better recovery rate. Oh man, I think I might have to use dogs. Do I have any more space? Oh, we do have space for dogs. Oh, about fire bases, but then we can replace the fire bases with, with fire teams. We don't need to double up on that, so. I want to see what that was like. Also, we're going to core more stuff here. Get more political power. Rollins. Good. And wham, sir. Well, we'll get that next, so. Notice we got a couple planes. So up next, we'll, and I'll be taking out uh, enemies off screen, probably. Or beating up enemies, because we got to get ready for these guys, because we just don't have the industry or uh, really the armies for them. But hey, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And uh, also check out the Old World Blues link if you haven't already. First link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Let's continue and probably end the campaign with the Barons. I read. Thanks for watching. Have a great Annette Bailey rest of your day.